your dreams trying to tell you something? Author M.B. Mosley teaches you how to decode your dreams and take hold of the manifestations that lay in wait for you in the waking realm. Now, broadcasting all over the world, it's the Dream Interpretation Podcast. Welcome, 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 family. Please be reminded that all dreams are not a one-size-fits-all and that each dream may be similar but is contingent upon each individual's waking life. I conduct dream interpretations based upon my waking life as it pertains to my journey here on earth. As for the requests that are emailed to me, I do a general interpretation as I do not know the individual's spiritual and personal waking life. I am so excited. Welcome to Zip Baby Zip. Zip Baby Zip. That's D-Z-I-P. The Dream Zone Interpretation Podcast. Share this podcast with your loved ones. Guys, I'm so excited to continually teach you all on how to do dream interpretations. I want to hear about it. You can email me at askmemory. 2019 at gmail.com and we are also dropping new episodes every other Wednesdays as we activate into this podcast and the further out we go on the podcast we're, we're hoping to drop more episodes and we're hoping to hear from your requests as well I'm excited for that so let's get right, right into it folks drum roll please grab your pens and paper and three two one Hello, 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 hello. You are now tuned in to Zip Baby Zip, D-Z-I-P, hashtag The Dream Zone Interpretation with your host, author, and sister friend, M.B. Mosley and or Memory Bengessa Mosley. How are you doing? (laughs) How are you doing? How are you doing? How is 2021 treating you so far? Yes. Yes. So I have a lot of uh, dream interpretations in the schedule and I'm so excited you all to present these with you, share them with you, and to continue to decode the messages from the dream world, right? From the dream realm, from the spiritual dream realm. So today I'm going to talk about these dreams. Have you ever dreamt of being in an unfamiliar place? Have you ever had a dream of seeing unfamiliar faces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As I sip on my, this time it's coffee, guys. Decaf. Because I already had my first round of coffee. Second cup is decaf. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I'll be up all night. So if you answered yes to that. if And, and also, there's a combo, Right. Have you ever had a dream of being in both an unfamiliar place and seeing unfamiliar face or faces? Okay, you're in the right place. (laughs) So here's the thing, right? Let's get into it and let's dissect, decode, and get the message from it. Today I'm going to give you what I consider like an, uh, a, I wanted to say umbrella, but it's not umbrella, but a... And I just don't want to call it general, but because you all know how I feel, disclaimer queen, you all know how I feel about being specific. So when we talk about let's yeah, let's do the generalization of the meaning of such a dream that 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 fits the narrative here. And that means and what I'm saying is because remember, students of decoding your message through the Dream Zone Interpretation podcast, you've been learning to understand when you wake up, how are you feeling about that dream? What is your energy level? Um, How is this dream significant to you as it pertains to your waking life? What is going on around you in your waking life and or in the near um, near goals, near plans? What's all evolving around you? That's how that's done. And also remember, I do have a utmost respect because this is a 
global podcast so we're talking to different cultures different backgrounds and so one dream may mean something for someone in the western hemisphere and it may mean something differently to someone down south in the african continent depending on the culture and basis of the dream so you always want to take all those factors into consideration right right thank you (laughs) So I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself on these dreams. So this started probably like mid last year, 2020. I probably had about five of these. And I was seeing myself in these dreams in unfamiliar places. Places I have no idea where I was. Okay, like I could not recognize anything about these places and definitely saw myself with different faces each in every dream. And they were not necessarily reoccurring. They didn't. They were happening sporadically throughout that course. And with each dream of an unfamiliar place, it was all kinds of happy go lucky people and all kinds of ethnicities in the mix. And so when I look back at writing on those dreams in the unfamiliar places and spaces and faces, I remember that every time, uh, the first, you know, it, okay, so probably the first time I was in an unfamiliar place with a whole bunch of people, I had no idea who they were. Um, when I woke up, I was curious. I really was. I was like, who the heck were those people? You know, (laughs) what would have been really freaky would have been if I saw those people in real life. No, I don't know that. mm. But hey, there's some people that are gifted that way. So um, I, I was really curious. I wasn't scared. I wasn't nervous, you know. And then when the the same pattern of dreams kept evolving, different places, different spaces. And I could recant one was like, I was walking into like this cozy workshop. It was weird. And there was an older gentleman, a gray beard and everything like that. And it looked like it was a shoe cobbler or something like that with the whole like leather apron or whatever it is they wore back in the day. (laughs) Do they still have shoe cobblers? Is that what they call shoe cobbler? Whatever. The person that, you know, repairs shoes, fixes shoes, Okay, (laughs) so um, and they were just like smiling and just happy go lucky. And it was been the energy throughout these places with these people and behind them was all kinds of people behind them. They were not necessarily working. And it's always been weird because in all these dreams that I've had, I've been more so like um, the third person. Right. I'm seeing stuff as it happens. You know, they see me, they smile or they're like, you know, warm and I see them, but I'm like observing things as they happen. So I wasn't necessarily partaking in anything. So now let's break this down generally, right? Because I think it's important to know the basis, you know, even though we use the word general, but we want to know the basis. So depending on, and remember, you got to do a spiritual check meter which is checking your spirit, checking yourself. We're on this journey to our true self, meaning being honest with ourselves. Where are we? So to when I reevaluate the dreams, it, it, in the last three years, I've been on a journey to discovering myself in a deeper way. Um, no, I'm not going backpacking in Europe, but it's on the agenda. Thanks to COVID-19, we cannot do that. No, I'm just teasing. But listen, I've been on this journey to, to really intimately discovering myself. Like I just want like the, you know, just my higher self to be really, um, ignited, you know, and also within that mix, I've been, you know, questioning the path that, I need to go my next chapter per se. So I've been having a lot of questions about that. And so when these dreams started happening, 
it wasn't right after my questioning. It's just been in the last three years. The questions have been, what's going to be my next chapter? What do I need to focus on? And, you know, I have two options here. Literally, the road forks. <laughs> so uh, I'm asking Spirit to guide me to going down the path that I'm supposed to go down. And so uh, both paths into probably you know, amazing things, but I really want to start serving self. And that's not a selfish thing, but just coming from one day, I'll be able to really go into depth, but I was just coming from a person that, you know, I've been in the circular work industry for so long. And so it's one of those questions, right? Do we go back or do we focus on our gifts and talents and hone those? I digress. So at the emerging of these dreams, I realized that this was the message I was getting for myself, right? Was that there's definitely a new chapter coming, right? Remember, dreams manifest to us messages. Sometimes they don't have a timestamp in them. I've never had one with a timestamp. But most times, you know, the, the manifestations could happen the next week. I've always said this two weeks, a month, a year, five years, whatever. But I realized because I was questioning my next chapter that these dreams were in alignment with what I was searching. And in the fact that wherever it is that my next chapter is going to lend me is going to be a place with new, a new place, um, new faces, and definitely warm faces <laughs> seem like really warm faces. Now, look, I know that's real general, right? Because we want to know, well, does it mean I love to travel? So does it mean you're going to do blogs or vlogs traveling and showing the whole entire world since you say different ethnicities and stuff? I, I don't I, I, I don't know. I just know that now uh, more than ever, I'm very optimistic for my next chapter that I will definitely be in newer spaces with new faces and warm faces embracing faces and um the times that i woke up to evaluate those dreams i i, I would in that moment i was my energy was happy i was happy but you know i hadn't sat down to really pen and paper and then do the 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 correlation you know it only came to me later like uh yeah i do i am trying to figure out what we're gonna do right <laughs> so now let's break it down for you with your pen and paper and pencil pen and paper or pencil, I should say. If you find yourself in a dream, either with unfamiliar um, places, remember, when you wake up, what is the energy? Because sometimes you can find yourself in unfamiliar places and it's dark and scary and gloomy. You know, so now you got to reevaluate that too. Where, where are you in that moment, in your waking life? What's going on all around you? Then you'd have to dissect and do, or, and, or I should stop using the word dissect. Do you have to decode that? And um, so unfamiliar places can represent new beginnings, fresh beginnings, fresh start, something different. Because it's the unknown. It's the realm of the unknown, right? And unfamiliar faces can also represent new beginnings new beginnings new places believe it or not but at the end of the day you have to reevaluate once again your spiritual meter to see where you are in your waking realm and what these unfamiliar places spaces and faces mean to you now, the reason why I gingerly always caution about that and talk about different cultures and interpretations is because there are some cultures that also believe that when you see, because in the dreams that I did have, seeing so many different faces that I had never, ever met before. So I may believe that those are past lives. OK, that's why it's important for you to gravitate to what you believe in. What what does you, what is your belief and what is your culture? What is what you know, what you believe in and, and where are you in your waking life? That's OK. Like I'm not. Listen, my job in life is not to sit up here and tell you this is right. This is wrong, because that is not what I'm here on Earth for. Right. But 
I just always like to mention that. And that's why I mentioned that at the start of this podcast, because this one is the one, this is one of the dreams where some, like I said, would break it down that when you do see different faces, it could represent your past lives. And sometimes they do also believe if you see different places, right, in your spiritual dream realm, that it could also probably represent past lives. Now, obviously, for the most part, unless you go to like past life um, regression people, professionals. So the moral of the story really being dig deep, dig deep internally and first understand where you are in your waking life, making the evaluation of the decoding of the unfamiliar places and or unfamiliar faces. And, um, and like I told you, the theory and or base and or belief of um, unfamiliar places and or faces in dreams being past lives is really interesting to me, you know, and I could tell you that. And obviously, I probably right unless we go for the past life regression techniques uh, i can't tell cannot tell you what my past life was until i get there to you know and so but so did i have a connection in those dreams i didn't feel any connection with any of those people i just literally felt like i was watching a movie it was in the third person i i felt my physical body well let's not say physical right but i felt like myself being there my eyeballs and everything and them looking at me but but I um didn't feel any connection I didn't you know re recognize any one of those people but what's interesting is those faces were very um distinctive uh it, it, distinctive in the manner that if I probably saw one of those people in the market or something like that I'd be like wait a minute oh what are you doing okay so let's 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 uh, sprinkle something in here that's also interesting on that on that note, because we've talked about dreaming about unfamiliar places, spaces, faces. Let's talk about have you ever had a dream <laughs> of people you do know, right? People, you know, like a, a but listen, have you ever had a dream of people you do know, but not necessarily are close to you? So like random, a, a church member or a group member or a, a Facebook friend, a Facebook friend that follows you like you don't know anything about these people pops up in your dream. Right. Totally. I've had had those dreams. I'm like, what were you doing in my dreams last night? Like, I don't even know you sips here <laughs> so on the flip side of that right when we get to dream about people that we know of and in my case that like most parts never talk to like you recognize them you're like oh when in high school that person or that's a friend of a friend's friend like you don't really know these people but they show up in your dream in some form and fashion Understand the correlation. Once again, evaluate your waking life. I want you to understand one thing. You all are amazing students of this Dream Zone Interpretation Podcast. Listen really carefully. Remember, at the top of the podcast, and I like to repeat myself in case we have new people to this podcast, but at the top of the podcast, and what I always say is, our job is to decode the message and the dreams as they pertain to our waking lives as individuals because we the ones that dream about the uh, dreams that we see in our spiritual dream realm, it's our most part messages for us, right? Most part messages for us. And so one thing that you always want to exercise caution because there's always a fine line. Like I could tell you, Back in the day, because I really want to give you a really good example. Back, back in the day before I met my husband, um, I used to go to the gym, right? And a lot of eye candy at the gym. And so, like, people I saw at the gym, you know, and I remember the faces, the faces I saw, never spoke to them, never even said hi or waved. But I remember one time I had a dream of an individual from the gym never had had a conversation with this man whatsoever but okay eye candy right so now it was so awkward 
every time I went back to the gym, seeing that person, because I was like, why were you in my dream? And it was like, we were talking. I even like, it wasn't like a deep, deep dream. It was like, they appeared in my dream. I recognized them from the gym and we were having a conversation or whatever the case was. But I was just so baffled back in that day when I was like, what were you doing in my dream? So now that example is, here are some of the things. When I woke up, I didn't think, oh, okay, this guy likes me and let me go talk to him or there's a connection. No, I just thought, you know what, something's weird about it. And But what was more weird about it was just me seeing a person that had appeared in my dreams that I don't talk to and seeing them in there, you know, all the time. So if you've ever experienced something like that, someone you don't talk to, someone that you recognize, you're not close to them and they show up in your dream, does that necessarily mean it's a meaning for me to start talking to them or be their friends or be their travel buddy or whatever it is that you dream of them in your dream appearing as not necessarily remember dreams are not so straightforward right most times remember students we've said that there are some dreams that will come and hit you from a to z and wake up your next day and a to z happens right visions now understand and remember, you could go dig my podcast on the differences between premonitions, uh, visions, and so forth, and dreams, and all that amazing stuff. So now, people we see in our day-to-day basis and don't talk to appear in our dreams, what does that mean? Where are you at in your waking life will always be the first part. How do you feel about that dream? Sometimes the spirit realm We'll put people that we recognize within our dream realm to catch our attention, okay? And when I remember that uh, dream with that person, it was a conversation, but it was weird because it was a conversation on something important that was happening, I believe. And in the dream itself, it wasn't like so obvious, right? But sometimes it's to catch our attention, Uh, on what's going on okay and once again where are you in your waking life what's going on around you okay because I know that these different cultures that can think look look if you come from my culture they'll probably say that person is a witch okay I'm just saying I'm just saying look (laughs) I'm just saying well, you dribble people that you see on your day-to-day basis and you don't talk to them, they'll probably consider them a witch. But that's why I say everything could be, you know, take the cultural context too because I believe that aids with your understanding of your dream because every culture, every belief has, uh, sees things differently, right? And so, so, yeah, so most times it's to catch our attention, catch our attention, catch our awareness, bring us to, you know, an awareness of a situation. So what I would do is probably take note of where you are with this person. Let's say you're on a kayak trip or a float trip. I don't know, a road trip. Where are you going? What's the what's the background? Trees, pine trees, I don't know. You know, what are you seeing? You know, do you see deers? Plenty of deers. So I would probably take it from there, from every item and object that you see in that dream, the representation of deers, animals, and the road trip, where are you in your waking life wanting to get away, you're feeling overwhelmed, and so forth, right? But that was it. I just wanted to add that little bonus tip there because sometimes those dreams will happen with people faces that we've seen before but don't necessarily converse with or even have a relationship with pay attention to your um spirit pay attention to your spirit because spirit is always trying to tell us messages in different forms waking and or in the spiritual dream realm pay attention to your energy when you wake up how did that dream make you feel did it make you feel creepy scary dark weird crying tears tears of joy uh tears of uh sadness Uh, what's going on in that dream uh, what what happened was a violence in the dream. Perhaps if I had dreamt of this person in the gym that I'd never talked to a day in my life, if they were violent towards me, is spirit trying to tell me that someone 
someone that I may recognize is out to getting me or something is going on. And remember that. So, so, so stuff, listen, it's not necessarily, let's say if I, let's say if I had dreamt about this individual in the gym that I never spoken to and they were warning me or they were, or excuse me, they were attacking me. Let's say they were attacking me with a knife in my dream. That doesn't necessarily mean I wake up scared and terrified, of course, probably, you know, clutch the area of where you thought the knife was going. But remember, waking up in of course i'm gonna wake up terrified with all these uh emotions and so forth but now is it a reminder for me to be super aware that something is probably gonna happen that i should be totally aware of which could mean maybe a fender bender on my way to work or something you know out and about or you know is somebody that i probably associate with but don't talk to is you know, out there, I don't want to paranoid anybody, but like, let's say the, out to getting you, I don't know, and not necessarily that way, but let's say you are closing in on a deal, you have a partner who has a financial advisor, but your spirit told you the financial advisor is no good, are they trying to do something, is it bringing light to someone that you don't have a relationship with, but something bad is about to happen, you know, so th that's why I, I encourage emotions, what is the emotions, what is the dream? Dream. Uh, how are you feeling in that moment and then in your waking life how do you insert that all right to to relate to your waking life some of these things remember once again she's repeating herself but it doesn't necessarily mean that the manifestation is going to happen immediately uh, or, or in the next two days but remember that it's it's, it's hard, the spirit is hearkening you to um to be aware which we should be as a conscious community, we should always stay alert and aware. All right. I love you guys so much. And thank you all so, so, so very much. I am so humbled to come on here, be myself, and talk to you all from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank each and every one of you. When I look at those analytics, I am just thrilled and amazingly and totally For God humbled. speaks in one way and or in two. Though man does not perceive it, he speaks in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on men while they slumber on their beds. Happy dreaming.